Hey guys, what is going on? It's Ben again, and this is my Alienware M11XR2. Now, the last time you saw it, it was dual booting Windows 7 and Windows 10. Well, I decided to change things up a little and dual boot Windows 10 with a Linux distribution, and in this case, it is Ubuntu. I thought long and hard about it, whether I wanted to use Ubuntu or Linux Mint, since I've been trying out Linux Mint for a while, but ultimately I decided on Ubuntu. Ubuntu has been working great for me. I've been using it in my PC build, and I really like it. It's working great for me. I'm now learning how to adapt to it. I'm really enjoying the free distribution of software, and I've donated a little bit to help the development of Ubuntu, and I'm really happy that I did that. So I'm going to show you in this video how I managed to get my laptop dual booting and working. So I'm going to show you guys that in this video. So without any further ado, let's get into it. I booted into the installation using this USB. It's commonly known as a live USB since you can technically use Ubuntu off of it. Without installing it, you can technically try it out. But in this case, I wanted to install. I booted into the installation and everything seemed to go smoothly. I'm speeding it up for your, here for you guys because I don't want to bore you, but I will be talking over it. Uh, I used it on my PC build and again, it was a fairly similar procedure, but this time as a laptop. After the installation was complete, I could boot into whatever I wanted. So from the grub boot menu, I could boot into Windows, or from the grub boot menu, I could boot into Ubuntu. So the thing about the grub boot menu is it's kind of like, I'm not really used to it. I mean, I kind of like it, but like it's kind of simple, but I'm used to the Windows boot manager. But it would be nice to install a custom bootloader, so I might cover that in the next video. I've been trying a lot of custom bootloaders on my Hackintosh, which is the same, which is my, basically my PC build, as everything triple boots, so... I will be looking around for a custom bootloader, I think they're only available for Hackintoshes, I don't know, but... I'm going to see what I can find. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it. This was just a really short video showing how I installed Ubuntu on my laptop, and I mean, I might go into a full in-depth about it. I mean, I've just been really taking a break from YouTube, I went camping, so... Yeah, I just wanted to show you off this, um, just this, um, distribution running on my laptop. And it seems to actually run pretty well, I actually, obviously tested it out before this video. And yeah, so it seems to be working great. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. Thanks for watching, and this has been Vasquez, signing out.